relationship ended, I'm... I mean, maybe Don't you're... stop trying to, like... I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm really not. Whatever, I'm honestly, whatever happened in your last relationship. I'm honestly not. I'm just, really, it's a completely different relationship. I know, I'm just trying to make sure that the things that happen in my last one don't happen. <laughs> and so if I see signs, or, or like see things that make me like remind me of that, I want to like jump on it before it becomes a thing. But you see what you're doing by doing that, you're like creating a thing out of nothing. When there's nothing I'm trying to cr- I'm trying to identify it before it becomes that thing. And no, but it's here's the thing, if it's, if, are you, okay, I, I, I think I need to learn to trust you when you say it's not. I, I, I know I well <laughs> frankly I'm a little bit offended that you don't trust me. I do trust you. I, it's just like you just said it's paranoid. To I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't paranoia mean is okay. So it's a you thing. I, I guess so. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I just I thought there might be a, a thing, and now you're telling me it's not. And I should be like, okay, cool. And I am. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Everything Listen, is. You want to talk about food? We can talk about food. Like okay. This. So what do you want to talk about? Um, <clears throat> I really like breakfast a lot. <laughs> I think, um, what? <laughs> I just, I think it's funny that you went there. It's like, it's not okay. like... It's, you're judging my life, you're just... The first thing I say, you're laughing. Well, no, it's just like, it's so unnatural to suddenly be that arguing and then talking about, like, <laughs> oh. talking about food. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you know. Ah, and I saw you talking like a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like you're having a good time. Um, yeah, we're... We're getting along. We're really, really connecting. Hmm. Connecting. Uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> is that like a? Is that weird? No. I mean, everything's been great so far. I mean, it's just kind of. I mean, I guess I didn't do all the earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is not like. This is not. I'm like, not just doing it. Just for spite or whatever. You no. Know, right? No. I feel like we. Because I mean, you're a lawyer. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this much. You, when invited, I, you invited me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, when you got, when I saw that connection, that like, um... The lawyer-client connection? Yes. <laughs> yes I, 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 I never occurred... Special connection. It had never occurred to me... It's nice when you can tell them anything. Sorry? <laughs> they, can't, they can't tell the police. Yeah. And I never explored that. I never even thought to explore that uh, in my own line of work. And but so, like, honestly, like... If I had not seen you do that, I might not have taken the initiative. But I, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I saw that. Yeah, you could have opened up to me in our marriage. I know. You never really opened up and told me what was going on in your life. I'm, You're always closed off. So I'm, I, I was just nervous, and I was afraid that whatever I said or did would be like the wrong thing, and that it would like. I mean, we have this. like a marriage confidentiality too. I'm not going to go run off. I know. I know. I know. It's, it's just not legally binding, really. But I know. But it was. It was just a. And I, I know it's. I, I, I'm trying to phrase this in the right way because, like, the term starter marriage is thrown around a lot, and that's not how I viewed that. I just, I was too immature to handle it uh, the right way okay. because I got in my own head. I was like thinking about like what, like all the things that I say and do. How could they mis- be misconstrued, and how could they cause a problem? I was just focused on potential problems. Mm. And if I'm honest, I'm still running into that with, you know, my current thing. I'm really trying hard. I'm seeing a therapist and stuff, but it's hmm. it's hard. Taylor. Hi. Hey. Um, sorry, I stepped away for a second. No, to okay. the bathroom. Sure, sure. Um, I uh, I'm just I'm a little missed because you say you have this deep emotional world outside of our office. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I have personal relationships and friends and family. Yet you never told me anything about them. Well, I mean, uh, we have like a work relationship. I didn't think that you. A need... work relationship? Is that not how you do it? You and I. I'm your therapist. I know, but like that's your work, right? Yeah. That's but that's not your work. Okay, let me put it this way: when you stepped away into the bathroom, yeah. That that's time that is yeah. removed from this session. That's time that I'm paying you for, uh, that you're not compensated. I'm just saying, like, uh, if we want to get technical about it, like, okay. I wish this was, I wish this was a completely, like, friend thing, but it's not for you. It's, it's, not it's not your friend, job. It's, it's not your a, job. It's not a friend thing either. We're not supposed to be friends. I, that's, that's what I'm time. saying. That's what I'm saying. So, so I'm trying to embrace that and make this just a job thing. And so that's why I'm not telling you about all of the deep, you know, I'm trying to keep it professional. It seems, Taylor, that you 
let everyone else know about your problems except for me, the one person you're supposed to let know about your problems. And then you're trying to make this well, work thing. Uh, okay. Like, yeah. But you never tell me about your problems. And I feel like if you did, it would be more balanced. And I feel like it, I'm just going to be like, emotionally dumping on you by telling you all my problems and you don't tell me about your problems, you're like very professional about it. You. <clears throat> I, I heard the hurt my ex came to you. How did you find that out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we stopped close and all that. So. Your ex told you that Not really, but thing. I found out. <laughs>
I, uh, I, I, I had heard secondhand that she'd been seeing you. Uh, that she'd been seeing you. Um, I have one question for you. <laughs> yeah. Where? Have you been here? Have, you just, have they just been telling you? Have they just been telling you? Have you all just been meeting? And then you're like, hey. We don't talk about these things. Uh, we talked about a lot of things, but like, I guess I, we had dinner one night. I went through the trash at the restaurant. I found those two. And, yeah, the receipt. <laughs> Are you saying that there are therapy notes on the receipt at the restaurant? No, but it says like, you know, uh, Dr. Carolyn's sex. sex. Yes. <laughs> therapy office. Yes. Um, and clearly I made the connection. Like, he, he had just gone in here. She had just gone in here. So, yeah. Like, clearly she's seeing Dr. Ther Dr. Carolyn sex, which is you. And, um, yeah. um, listen, I, it's not that I'm jealous of sex. Uh, um, sorry, are you supposed to talk? Like, <clears throat> you don't have to I don't want to monopolize me. the conversation. In a therapy session? You're, you know you're right. It's ridiculous for me to say. But, yeah. Um, um, uh, so you, you do could you talk? tell me a little bit more about what came over you when you decided to dig through the trash? <laughs> 